All right, yo, check it out. Before I say anything, I want to congratulate Kayla Clark on her first victory. But then we're going to turn around and talk about this ass woman that got put on you by Asia and the boy that gave her the business. Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, people with jobs, people without jobs, middle class, upper class. That's the fucking, that's a horrible way to goddamn celebrate the first victory with an ass woman like that. My God. Aces. Y'all could have took it easy on them bitches. Y'all could have took it easy on them. Goddamn, y'all went out there and showed them motherfuckers why y'all are the reigning goddamn champions and why you got the motherfucking reigning MVP on your goddamn team in Asia. They beat the fuck out of them. Beat the fuck out of them. Look, yeah, that's the first WNBA game I got to watch in this entirety with Kayla Clark. Other ones, I seen them here and there because the motherfuckers wasn't really showing. I had to go find it, right? But I watched this motherfucker, and they was hanging with them. No thanks to Caitlyn, though. No thanks to Caitlyn. Look, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. As a casual viewer, that bitch look like a deer in headlights out there. She's just walking around this motherfucker. She's not getting back on defense. <clears throat> she's, she's blowing shots, right? She's blowing them, blowing these layups. This motherfucker, she, she's not setting for the three-pointer. She's off balance, like, off balance of shit. It's almost like she's trying to make highlights with her shots. With every one of her fucking plays, look, she's trying to make a highlight. Now, I'm not hating on her. I'm not. And I've seen a lot of motherfucking men hating on this bitch. And I know y'all probably watch me and, and what, because I'm not hating on none of them, actually. I'm really not. I'm actually rooting for them. I just like to talk about this shit right now because it's one of these things that people got so much, it's so much divide about. Because you got the people that's like, I'm watching this shit because of Caitlyn. Then you got people, I'm watching this shit because of Angel. And that's true. That's why you watching that shit for. But I'm going to tell you, the majority of motherfuckers who started watching this shit are watching it for Caitlyn. Because she is this once in a generation talent that comes along as fucking shooting logo threes and motherfucking spinning off of bitches and step back and doing all this shit looking like Steph. And Steph is the reason why people watch the NBA so much. A lot of people are mimicking their games at that shit, fucking shooting logo threes and goddamn selves. Cross a bitch up, bop them up, three, run around all these goddamn screens. That's what people were watching. They're watching this shit for the scoring. I'm not trying to watch these bitches and not get points. So in comes Caitlin Clark scoring all these goddamn points, but she looks very uncomfortable out there. Very uncomfortable. Her fucking three-part percentage is terrible. It is fucking terrible. It's, it's like fucking under, it's, it's got to be either under or right at 30% right now. Her shooting is in the 30s. The shooting's in the 30s. And they, the nerve of you motherfuckers to try to compare motherfucker Caitlin to Jordan up at any part in his life. Other than this fucking Wilson shit, because that's the only time you can compare the two motherfuckers. They're the only two athletes that have a, a signature Wilson um, memorabilia. But this motherfucker has no accolades like Jordan. Nothing. You want you want to fucking make that shrug like it's a Jordan type shrug when that bitch was two for eight from the three point line again, again. Get the fuck out of here. She had eleven points. Mitchell and Boston, the bitches that balled out. 17 and 15. The bitches shooting 40, 50%. Her, Mitchell and Boston. Y'all forgetting about the goddamn team. Here we go. Here we go, everybody that's been sitting there waiting to fucking hear the, the real shit. Team. Motherfucker. Kaylin's over there on a fucking team. A team that got the number one pick from last year. And that bitch showed out in this game. She been showing out. But it's become too much about Kayla. Look, Kaylin is a player like Carmelo Anthony. That bitch is a volume shooter. I got to get up a shit ton of motherfucking shot before I start getting going. And then the WNBA, the way they play that game, you ain't really got time to get into a motherfucking rhythm. So Kaylin, she only took eight fucking shots. Eight shots. When you go and look at this bitch's shots when she was in college, 20 plus. How you think she was dropping 30? Because she was shooting a lot. A whole fucking lot. They don't talk about that part. Look, she gives up a lot too. Right? She's very small. Compared to the bitches I seen out there on that court, she's very small. I didn't realize uh, Kelsey Plum was that damn small. After I was talking about her, I thought she was tall. Then I see her out there, she's like a fucking midget compared to all the bitches out there. It's towering over her. But she balled the fuck out. 20 points. 8 assists. She was getting it. That's the Kayla, Kayla came through. Seven assists. She really, she's racking it up as that type of player. And I, I feel like for her, 
that she needs to get into a good rhythm in other areas of the game besides just trying to score points. Because she, she, has, she has been playing a, some decent defense because her steals should be like in the, the twos right now. She be getting like one or two steals a game. And she getting blocks a game for her fucking height. She's been getting blocks. Last game she said she got four, like four blocks. So those areas, I feel, are where she should be trying to contribute most of her game at. Not the fucking scoring because you got to you gotta get into a fucking rhythm for you stuck. And they not doing that. For whatever reason, they go. They not letting that bitch shoot the ball that many times. It's all spread out. And if you ask me, I think she needs to have the bulk of the fucking shooting from beyond three. Because the other bitches are shooting air balls. <laughs> I saw it. I saw that shit. These bitches, when I tell you what the bitches was out there doing, Kelsey Plum bopping them bitches up. Bop, 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 bop. And she fast as fuck. God damn, she fast as fuck. Motherfucker, there's a player that was on... Um, uh, the FIFA's team, that's it. that bitch is fast. I, I think it was Mitchell. That bitch is fast, man, with that goddamn ball. Like, lightning and shit. Like, sign at that fucking hedgehog. <laughs> and see, and Kaylin. Kaylin's pretty quick, too. But she's having a hard time finishing. She's having a hard time finishing the basket. Look, I think the pressure's starting to mount. I really do think the pressure's starting to mount on her and her game. And I think she's trying to force it. Instead of letting that shit come to her. She got a lot of pressure on her. When y'all think when y'all hear about all the shit that she has and that they have done for her, the WNBA, that has never been done before, i.e., a chartered flight for one. In all the WNBA history, you mean tell me these bitches couldn't get chartered flights? They act like people don't know them. And I mean I lie. People didn't know them. And here's the reason why people didn't know them. I told you, the product was weak, and if the product was weak, they're not going to put it on display. So you really didn't see WNBA games in many areas. They're not showing them bitches on ESPN 1, they're showing them on ESPN 2. I'm, I'm surprised they weren't showing ESPN Deportes. <laughs> they, they hatch out nowhere. Even now, right, they don't broadcast y'all shit on ESPN 1 like that, when they should. I saw a, a Kayla Clark game was on fucking ESPN 1. But you don't see any others. You see, it's not our fault. I'm telling you, it's not the viewer's fault. Because we would know you bitches if they showed y'all. Seriously. Look at what's going on right now with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Or like with teams like Denver and OKC. And people are like, who the fuck is SGA? People are like, who the fuck is Anthony L? Who are these people? Them motherfuckers was leading the Western Conference at one time or another. All three of those teams just kept motherfucking sharing who's going to be in first. And we never knew that shit because those are very small markets. Y'all have been to Denver? Y'all ever been to motherfucking Colorado? Have y'all ever been to Minnesota? <laughs> have y'all ever been to Oklahoma? Man, it ain't shit out there. It ain't shit in Oklahoma. There's nothing fucking ever tornadoes. So you wouldn't think of a basketball team this good coming out of there because the last time you heard about OKC was when Westbrook and KD and they were there because they were electrifying. So they brought attention. And that's what the leagues fuck up because they only pay attention to the electrifying players. They're only paying attention to Caitlin Clark right now. She's not being electrifying. They whooping up motherfucking ass. She don't look like nothing she was when she was in college. And that's something that she has to understand. The game has to... Your game has to transition into what the fuck you're going into right now. Let me go back and re retract one of my statements. I, I was calling them bitches tough guys. Uh, who was it? Uh, Dana Tarasi and the other one. Sue Bird. I was calling them tough guys because the way they were talking about um, Caitlin. But all, in all honesty, they really meant this. Yeah, get ready. Because where the fuck you are right now is it's greater competition where you're about to get ready to go. And she meant that shit because the WNBA has been building over time. So. They got some good bitches in that bitch. And they've been good. And the only reason why we didn't know that they was as good as they were because they didn't have them on display. But here comes Kayla Clark. And it's all like, oh shit, Kayla Clark is the reason why all this shit is good. She's not the reason why all this shit is good. But she's the reason why motherfucker casual watches like myself. Because I started talking about this shit because of her. And now everything else is starting to make sense. Well, Dana Taurasi over there trying to tell motherfuckers, like, we've been here. This shit has been good. It's been getting better. And that's not the bitch that made this good. So when she get here, we're going to show you motherfuckers. And everybody been showing us. So check it out. If Caitlin Clark is supposed to be that goddamn good, 
then why is she having such a hard time with the other bitches that's supposed to be just as good? I tell you why. Because they better. They're better. Along comes this motherfucker who's putting up astronomical numbers. It's points. They running and gunning in Iowa. They got everybody's fucking attention. And the words start to get out about her. I told y'all, this is America. And America loves a white athlete. This is not racist comments. This is the fucking truth. If y'all saw Larry Bird play fucking basketball during his time in this motherfucking country, as good as he was, Larry Bird's one of my fucking favorite players. Ask my brother. I'm from that era. That's all they would show. You see what I'm saying? Do y'all get what I'm saying? They have to show the product. And if you're a black motherfucker, you better be great. Otherwise, they're not going to talk about you. Anthony Edwards, SGA, they didn't talk about this bitch. That motherfucker SGA got second place in MVP votings. They ain't talking about him now. Why? Because they just realize he's great. He's a product they can stand behind, and LeBron is starting to walk out this bitch. So as LeBron moves on, they're going to have to find somebody to fill his fucking place. They hopping on somebody. They hoping and praying it was Wimby. And then here come Ant-Man. Oh, shit, it might be Ant. So everybody to celebrate him. But this motherfucker's unproven. Being called Michael Jordan this goddamn soon, I don't care how long he been in the motherfucking league. Michael Jordan wasn't Michael Jordan just yet. He's Michael Jordan. That bitch became Michael Jordan. So Anthony Edwards ain't nowhere near that fucking Jordan status at all. And you can stop comparing motherfuckers at ages. You need the, the eye test. The eye test. And that's for the motherfuckers who've seen it all. And what I see out there, I see a tired ass motherfucker who ran his goddamn mouth too soon. Care about you talking shit. Talk shit, but back it the fuck up. I love it when you can back it the fuck up. But right now, you're not backing that shit up, Edwards. You look fucking trash out there with the pitiful ass shooting. You having a, this motherfucker cannot finish at the basket for fucking shit unless he dunking on that motherfucker. That's for what it looks like. Every, you see how I many layups that bitch missed? And now you got to play again tonight. I'm looking, I'm thinking it's going to be the same shit, the same outcome. Because you fucking, y'all must have forgot who the fuck Kyrie Irving was. He's the reason why they came back. The Cavs came back. And won that motherfucking game. He had the game winning shot. When it came back and won the seven. That motherfucker's the reason why they won. But we're not going to give it to him. We're going to keep on riding LeBron. We're going to keep riding because he is the face right now. They, they try to make faces. It's the reason why they didn't allow Marshawn Lynch to run that goddamn touchdown in. We want Russell Wilson to do it. Yeah, Russell Wilson is black. But he light skinned black. He's marketable. Marshall Lynch is a nigga. <laughs> this motherfucker, y'all remember him still in the goddamn go-kart and swinging that bitch? Remember that shit? When he was at KO, go look it up. Marshall Lynch is that nigga. If you go look up anything about Marshall Lynch, he's nigga everywhere at all times. And I love it. <laughs> That's the motherfucking man. He him goddamn self. And America not, was not ready to get behind a motherfucker like that. We need Russell Wilson to come in here. The cornball. There's a reason why they call him cornball. You can stand behind him. I bet you they call Patrick Mahomes a cornball too. Look at that assimilation motherfucker. Y'all ever seen that clone Tyrone? The motherfuckers in, the, in uh, that clone Tyrone, how they supposed to start looking like the bitch that was selling the chicken at the chicken place or the motherfuckers that was in the laboratory with the fucking afros and they light-skinned as fuck, they white as fuck. That is Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> he's a assimilation. And he's a black man that they can get behind because he's able to market his motherfucker there because of how he looked. They ain't finna market no nigga. The only nigga that won a goddamn championship who they don't fucking talk about is the nigga that won for goddamn Redskins. It's like Doug Wilson. I can't even fucking remember his name. It's something. It's, I'm going to put it somewhere around because I can't remember his shit. But he won a goddamn Super Bowl. They don't talk nothing about that shit at all. They talk about black quarterbacks winning Super Bowls. The first motherfucker you're going to see pop up is goddamn Russell Wilson because he's marketable. Guys. Kaylin Clark is marketable. But with the way that she's playing right now, eight fucking points, I get it. You win against the Aces. They're talking about they have such a rough, stress, a, a rough stretch because they're going against all the best teams. Who the fuck are the sorry teams? Because y'all must be one of the sorry teams. <laughs> Seriously. You bitches got one win. 
One win. Man, there are a lot of other goddamn rookies out there, bitch, right now that's they balling. They balling. Kayla had a good run those first, those first three, four games. That second game, she had nine points. But other than that, she had 20, 9, 22, and 17. So it wasn't the, the problem wasn't scoring. The problem is that bitch don't get to shoot enough. And the other problem is she's not as accurate with her shot. She needs to shoot a lot so she can warm the fuck up and then get into a rhythm of shooting. And they're not allowing her to do that on that goddamn team. And that's going to be a fucking problem for them. I don't want y'all to compare this bitch to nobody else. Nobody motherfucking else until they go on some type of run. Say what you want. That just means that, just means that Asia deserves everything that fucking Caitlyn is getting. Everything. Get them goddamn Asia their own goddamn charter flights. Get these bitches their own fucking shoes. Pay these hoes more. Give them a basketball. Market these hoes. Because a person like me will watch. Y'all are silly as shit. Y'all keep doing the same shit over and over and over again in America. The same shit over and over again. Falling behind one superstar and praying that that bitch make it. And y'all do everything to push him. This bitch is losing right now. And she's still front page news. Like the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys, motherfucking front page news, when there ain't shit even going on, the motherfuckers, what well, the Dallas Cowboys did this, we ain't talking about Dallas Cowboys, they just always keep popping up, because something will go wrong over there, and it's America's fucking team, it's America's team, because people like to get behind a fucking winner, you guys, people like to get behind a winner, and them, they used to win, but they don't win no more, <laughs> they don't win no more. But you still got people that stuck in the past, stuck to their own biased opinions. And the people that are stuck to their own biased opinions are the ones who can't come to this conclusion. That Caitlin Clark is the reason why motherfucking casual watchers are starting to watch the game again. But, but as that casual watcher continues to watch, they're starting to see all the other product out there. So girls, women, right now is the time for you motherfuckers to ball the fuck out. And y'all are the only ones who deserve to have the right to have an attitude about this new bitch coming up in here taking y'all fucking shine. Because some of what Dana Tarasi is saying this. We built this shit. We built this shit. I'm not that old in the game. We built it. And we had some other motherfuckers come in who made it better. We're not going to put it all on that bitch. And we're going to show y'all when she get here. That's what they doing right now. You can't really call them haters. Because you're not them. You don't know how it fucking feels to be in a position because you're not a goddamn WNBA player. You're only looking at that shit from your side, your perspective, your observation. And what you have been shown is a white girl that puts up 30 plus points from the motherfucking logo and spitting off of bitches and breaking records. And it's been fucking drilled into your mind, that concept of that. And that's why you watch the goddamn game. But I'm going to tell you why you're going to continue to watch. Because the product behind that shit is pretty goddamn good. Respect it or stop fucking talking about it. Grown ass men, since I've been doing this shit, I've been seeing a lot of grown ass black men that have been fucking talking about y'all. Like, nigga, what the fuck y'all talking about? These? Why are you talking about them like that? Why? You talking about that shit is trash. You know? you, a grown ass men shouldn't be fucking hating at, at all. On nothing. That's fucking gossipy. Some gossipy bitches. Right? You're not a man. Especially if you're speaking on these, these bitches. <laughs> right? In a negative light. Because yeah, I do. I'll be like, man, that bitch is trash. But I'm talking about her game. I saw the bitch play and she was trash. I ain't saying that she a trash person. What I saw, that was trash. Don't mean that she can't get better. I say, I say what I see is trash. If I see KD go out there have a terrible game, nigga, that nigga trash. Anthony Edwards is a fucking superstar right now. That nigga trash. You see what I'm saying? If he go out there and bust ass tonight, I'm going to be like, all right, look, there you go. Get off my trash meter because right now you're playing like trash. Right? What, what does Stephen A say? The shit is fluid, right? It's fluid. Meaning you could be hot one round, right, and then not the other. Like boxing, like Cameron say. You can be hot this round. I'm fucking with you. And then me getting your ass whooped. I'm like, I ain't fucking with that nigga, man. That nigga getting his ass whooped. That can, that can happen. What may say two, two things can be right at once. That's right. You can be trash and, and great. Because you have a trash effort one day. And then the next day, you fucking do awesome. So right now, what I'm telling y'all is, the effort that I'm seeing from Kaylin is trash. 
Bitch picked the cookies, went in for the layup. This bitch had a, she had a shit ton of turnovers again. Kayla needs to learn how to slow down, control yourself, and let the game come to you. Let the game come to you. Yes. Let's be for real, guys. The Aces is fucking good. The goddamn Sun is good. They played them bitches twice already. The New York Liberty, I think they played them twice too. They played all the best teams in the fucking WNBA twice already. They got to play the Aces again. And they was holding their own in the beginning. And then the Aces just pulled away because they the fucking reigning champions. That's how it's been. Cause the, the Sun, they almost got a victory over them. They was, in fact, they had been close in a couple of games except for that one. They got blown the fuck out by the Liberty. <laughs> but you expect that. This Liberty is former champions. They got the former MVP. Brianna on their fucking team. You see what I'm saying? I can name these bitches. Because I've been watching because of Kaylin. And you can appreciate the product after her. Don't get all salty if she don't do good, guys. Don't, don't, don't get all salty and don't talk shit about her. Don't. Because she's in the motherfucking WNBA, guys. What they trying to tell y'all is that, motherfucker, we been good. We been good. Y'all just didn't know because y'all couldn't see us. Just like y'all didn't know how good Minnesota was, how good y'all Denver was. Y'all bet a lot of people over there. Why the fuck is Joker getting another goddamn MVP? They don't show them. Go look at how many games they show Denver. Go look at how many different games that they show. They, they get national games. They don't get that many national games. And when they do get a game, that shit coming on late. Motherfuckers got to go to sleep. Only, only people who stay up for a late game, they go stay up for a, a, a um, uh, what you call it, a Lakers game, or uh, one of Steph Curry and them teams, the Golden State Warriors. That's the only people they gonna stay up for late because they all the way over there on the West Coast. They two to three hours behind motherfuckers. That's the only ones. I'm not gonna stay up to watch no goddamn Joker. Why? What does he do? He ain't flashy. He's not a flashy player. Then in comes Edwards. He's flashy. SGA, they flash somebody you can get behind. They got some ga a game you can get behind. But if Edwards don't get this fucking championship, watch how fast they're going to hop off his dick. Pause. And watch how fast they're going to jump back on Wimby's motherfucking ass. Before I go, fever. Because this is the reason why motherfuckers is here. Fever. Y'all need to do something about that goddamn coach sides. She's fucking terrible. With that team that they have over there, the way they was playing in the, in the beginning, the first half, the way those girls playing in the first half for the FIBA, they were playing great. And then all of a sudden, that shit, everything that they had started in the beginning went out the window. It looked like the coach is trying to find plays for Caitlin, but she can't get open. Yeah, they was double teaming her, and goddamn, they play her close. They play up on her ass. They not trying to give her no space. But you got to understand why. But here's the thing. They able to lock her ass up. Ain't nobody talking about the fact they can lock this bitch up that was dropping 30 points. They'll just show you how good they are in the WNBA. Get these hoes a shot. Stop playing around with them. My God. My God. Give them a shot. And you better not compare motherfucker Kaylin to Jordan no more with no shrugs and shit. Oh, give a fuck. Jordan hit six three-pointers in a row. This bitch only scored two three-pointers. And that three-pointer, they was already in the lead. <laughs> I thought I was going to go to a highlight and see this bitch shoot a three-pointer and motherfucker, they was behind and she won the game. Yay! That's what I thought I was going to see. That's not what I saw. That's not what happened. So stop it. Goddamn stop it. And people, Charles Barkley and LeBron James, they're just going to say what they're going to say and people are going to run with that because they are a influence. And it's something that's talking about Caitlyn. People want y'all to understand that when you see her playing right now, that she out there like, oh, she's having a bad game, so stop hating. But what motherfuckers like me see, what we see is like, man, that bitch trash. She's sorry. They giving her the business. Why are y'all not talking about that? And then you got these black men coming to her rescue. See, people coming at me talking about I was a black man coming to her rescue. No, I wasn't, bitches. I was watching this bitch because she was could play. And now I'm watching and she getting her ass whooped. But it's let me see all the other bitches that's in the WNBA. And they the ones that's whooping her ass. And some of them black. A lot of them black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just look. I'm just saying. That's that's why that's why black women be feeling out. That's why they label black women angry black women. It's the same reason why they go label these women uh, some fucking haters, right? Because they call them black women angry when they keep. They already been telling y'all how they feel, and you won't listen. And now I gotta yell at you just to get my fucking point across. The bitches of the WA been telling y'all how things have been going. And now y'all want to bring somebody in. We got to show this bitch. That's not what it is. Now we got to yell at y'all. And now we're going to look like haters. Ain't nobody hating on that shit, fool. 
Ain't nobody hating. When Charles Barkley and LeBron James say what they say, they taking off the light of her actual game and the fuck that she's playing like garbage right now. She's really playing like garbage right now. And I, but I, I believe she can do better. She can. But it's hard to get better when you got the spotlight on you at all times. You fucking nervous. I'm telling you, I don't think she's living up to the hype because of all the pressure from everybody that they're putting on her. Like I said, Kayla, I wish I could sit down and talk to her and see how she really feels. Because she, when she sits in front of a press conference, she's going to say the political, co politically correct statements. She ain't going to get up to that bitch and be like, look. These bitches are double teaming me. I mean, the motherfuckers not calling fouls when I go to the basket. Y'all see the shit. You know what I'm saying? Every time I go there, I mean, my teammates not fucking getting open when I'm passing the ball and shit like that. They can't catch that bitch when I pass it to them. I don't know what the fuck. The fuck is going on? Like, I'm not getting no open shots. The bitches is all over me. Kayla can't say that, but I can. <laughs> and that's how I feel for. Look, guys, that's my time. I don't know when they fucking next game is, but I'm going to try to get some other shit out there before they play. Because this, this Kaylin Watch is ridiculous. But Kaylin Watch did this. Kaylin Watch brought me to all the other players. Asia bad. That's a badass tall lady. I don't really be looking at tall ladies like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't be looking at ladies like that at all. No more because I'm married. <laughs> Been married for a long time. But you know what? I'm a man. And like I, I admire the female motherfucking specimen. Man, Asia look good. That's a, that's a, that's a big motherfucker though. <laughs> That's a tall motherfucker. I, I could be in no goddamn picture with her. I'd be had to stand on something every time I'm next to her. Look, I'm okay with my height. I'm good with it, but I'm just saying this. You know what? I would. Fuck it. Y'all, no, fuck it. I would. I'd holler at one of them. I would if I could. <laughs> <laughs> they bad. I told y'all from the last goddamn video. They is bad. And she was out there bowling. Asia was bald. That bitch looked like, she looked like, like, like Tim Duncan out there, motherfucker. Jump shot everything. That motherfucker's good. Boy, these girls is good. Hey, thank you, Kaylin. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you that, Kaylin. Thank you. WNBA players, say this to Kaylin. Thank you so much for bringing in the new viewers, the new casual viewers. Because the new casual viewers do things like how I'm doing. Talk about this fucking product. And I got my friends watching the shit now. We talk about it. <laughs> it's some good shit, man. WNBA for the fucking win. Ain't nobody hating. Uh, Charles, um, LeBron, for real. Ain't nobody hating. These bitches don't need y'all to come to their need. They aid. They don't need y'all. For real. They really don't need you to come in and say that, that people hating on Kaylin. Nigga, everybody hating on the rest of the bitches in the league. That's what they're doing. Because the bitches fucking, they, they shutting their ass down. And not because they just really, really just, I, we gonna shut them, we gonna prove a point. I just really think that they, they that good. They're that good because Kaylin wasn't winning one-on-one -on -one matches either. So, look, we going all, what's this, 28, oh, 28 minutes, guys. Look, if y'all finish this video, please, 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 leave a comment saying, where you're from, how you found this video, and like, what did you find most entertaining? And what would you like to hear your boy talk about? Because this is, I'm just reacting to everything, but this Caitlyn shit right now is what's got everybody up in a, in an uproar. And it's fucking putting everybody else on display to put your shit together. Because Angel, Angel's in that bitch doing something right now. Her and Cameron break, even though she didn't score enough points in the last game. Uh, motherfucking Kia Jackson is fucking balling. Some, some rookies is fucking stepping up and showing their asses right now. They're showing their asses, man. So appreciate these women in that product and say thank you to Kaylin for motherfuckers like me that got to watch it and talk about the shit and bring it in new niggas. <laughs> Keep the thing going, guys. Y'all take care. Peace. Oh, if you are if you are new to the channel, hit that goddamn subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when you're about to drop it. Everybody else hit that goddamn like button and send some comments so we can get this goddamn conversation going. I love it. Y'all take care. Peace. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Oh.